Good afternoon, MPC. Kasama na natin si Chief Presidential Legal Counsel and Presidential <coughs> Spokesperson, Salvador Panelo. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, MPC. The Office of the President would like to share in the grief of the tragic, horrible death of one of the legendary greats in basketball, Kobe Bryant, who was saddened by his death as well as his daughter. We remember that he was a frequent visitor in the Philippines and was well loved by his fans. All of you have seen him on the hard court and he was a sight to behold with his mastery of his craft. So we extend our deepest condolences to the family, to his friends, to his colleagues, to his loved ones as well as the fans around the globe. We pray for the eternal repose of his soul. We're ready for your questions. Questions, MPC. Yeah, please. Hi, sir. Good morning, Paul. Morning. Sir, may we confirm um, the statement of uh, DOJ Secretary Minardo Guevara that Mal Malacanang has instructed the DOJ to uh, make a preliminary impact assessment on the possible termination of VFA? Yes. Uh, sir, may we ask for details? Bakit po uh, naging ganun yung order from the palace? What do you mean? Uh, why, why? Bakit po kailangan ng preliminary impact assessment, sir? No, what, uh, what the Secretary <clears throat> Ivara said was instructed to study how to go about notifying the United States government relative to determination. There certainly has a protocol in doing that, and it should be found in the visiting forest agreement. Uh, so, sir, in place pa rin po yung order na i-determinate po yung VFA? Yes. Okay, thank you po. Follow-up, Joyce. Sir, nagbigay ng warning sa Senator Coco Pimentel. He said that um, mm. even if nabanggit naman po natin na hindi naman kasama EDCA and MDT sa mga ipapakancel, the U.S. also or the other party has also the power to abrogate the other treaties. The other treaties? With respect to... If we push through the termination of the VFA, sir. That's in the realm of speculation. Number two, <clears throat> I think the treaties benefit more the United States than the Philippines. Strategically, the U.S. need to be in almost any part of the world to secure itself from its perceived enemies. So we're mm -hmm. not concerned that the other party, the U.S., can also cancel? No. Okay, thank you, sir. I follow up? Joseph. last topic natin before last week. So the president can on his own terminate a treaty. Since That's the position of the president. <clears throat> yes. It, since it is an executive agreement and even U.S. considers it one, then there is no need for a concurrence by the Senate. Moreover, the Constitution does not say that it requires concurrence by the Senate with respect to termination of executive agreements, and for that matter, treaties. Thank you. Uh, Rosa Licos. Pero sir, sa statement po ni Foreign Affairs Secretary Loxin, ay nakikipag-ugnayan sila sa Senate because on our side, it is a treaty. Sa U.S., it is an executive agreement. So... Oh, the Secretary Luxin was <clears throat> giving due courtesy to a co-equal branch on what the executive branch is doing. So, ano lang po yun? I-inform lang sila? Pero hindi naman kailangang kunin yung kanilang concurrence? Ganun I think my answer. response is clear enough. 
not to be repeated. Okay. Questions? MPC? May follow up? Other issue? Wala na. Joseph? Wala. Wala na? Okay na? Okay na? Wala na question? Oh, incidentally, the tete tete will be held tomorrow at 5 p.m. at the Heroes Hall at the palace between the president and this representation. Ace Romero. Secretary, what can change the president's mind with regard to the termination of the BFA? I, I really do not know. <clears throat> but as I said earlier, <clears throat> the cancellation of the Senator Batos visa was the last straw that broke the camel's back. It was an accumulation a series of disrespectful acts by the, some of the U.S. senators. One, first demanding the release of a senator who is lawfully detained. To our mind and to the president's mind. That is an intrusion and an insult to the judiciary system of this country. Number two, a U.S. Senate resolution condemning alleged violations of human rights, which <clears throat> have been a cycle of lies peddled by the critics and detractors of the president, which are baseless and totally exaggerated. Number three, the introduction of an amendment to the U.S. national budget barring entry of certain Philippine government officials <clears throat> who were involved or has anything to do with the, what they describe as a wrongful detention, which is false, as we have explained elaborately many times over, is a disrespect. Not that. We are requiring the U.S. to tell us the reason for the barring, <clears throat> as well as Senator Batos visa being canceled. But we feel that as a matter of courtesy between countries who are allied, it should have given us the reasons therefore. After all, we stated the reason why we are refusing entry to two, three U.S. senators in this country. And fourth, of course, is that cancellation of <clears throat> Senator Bato's visa. These are the reasons why the president decided to terminate the visiting forest agreement. You must remember that this BFA is a special grant of privilege agreement. Among others, under the BFA, the Philippines cannot assume jurisdiction over crimes committed by U.S. military personnel unless a particular crime is of particular importance to the Philippines. And even in those cases where the Philippines can assume jurisdiction, under the BFA, the courts are required to finish it in one year with respect to the legal proceedings. So under the BFA, they cannot even be arrested or detained. They cannot even be tried in religious and military courts. 
they're exempted from the requirements on visa and passport. Mm -hmm. To top it all, their US, the US aircrafts and vessels can move without restriction in the Philippines, unrestricted movement. This is a very special privilege granted to the US military personnel, ships, and aircrafts, which are not given to the counterparts in this country. Do so those are the reasons. May it's up. not as expressed by some a decision on a whim. It is a studied response to acts that the president deems to be not only an intrusion, but an assault to the sovereignty of this country. And to those who are <clears throat> thinking that this is a rush judgment, let me remind them that this president is a tactical and thinking president who has never lost an election and who has tread a path that ordinary mortals, as well as even those pseudo-intellectuals, have not tread. He has done controversial things, but he remains to be on top of the surveys, whether it's a trust rating, it's a satisfaction rating, or an approval rating. Filipinos overwhelmingly support this president. Those, of course, who oppose constitute a misly 6%. Okay, Prince? Sir, good afternoon. Mm. Sir, aside from the... Aside from the VFA termination, tuloy din po ba yung threat ni President Duterte na to ban the other U.S. senators who supported or who voted for the resolution yes. from entering the country. Yes. Kahit sir, i reverse yung visa cancellation. Hindi ko alam yun, yung part ng yun. Basta yung tuloy pa rin. Chona? Sir? We'll ask him during the tete-tete. Sir, if ever ma terminate na yung VFA, what will happen? Dun sa, like in the case of uh, yung kay Pemberton, will he be turned over sa U.S. government? Somebody expressing that idea that the termination will result in the release, I cannot see the logic in that. Why? Because we acquired jurisdiction over him. Even without the BFA, all crimes committed in this country, Philippine courts have jurisdiction. <clears throat> That's only a privilege granted to them. And we assume jurisdiction precisely because that crime was of particular importance to us. Thank you, Chona. Uh, Pia? Sir, other topic po. Sir, based on the uh, Corruption Perceptions Index of Transparency National, uh, the Philippines uh, uh, slid down 14 points dun sa ranking. From 99 last year, uh, 113th na tayo out of 180 countries. What's the reaction of the palace on this, sir? It will goad us to sack more 
corrupt officials. <clears throat> Sack, S A C K. <laughs> Provided, of course, there is evidence to show that they are. The problem, the problem, the problem is this. <clears throat> There are many complaints of corruption, but the president as a lawyer needs certain documentary and testimonial evidence to give him the basis. And many Filipinos are still afraid to reveal themselves <clears throat> or to give the evidence of this sort. So, sir, based doon sa sinabi ng report, um, the Philippines uh, continues to struggle to tackle corruption. The palace agrees, sir. Is what? The, the Philippines continues to struggle to tackle corruption. Yes, we, we, uh, we are in fact struggling because the president's hands are tied by the due process clause of the Constitution. It would be different if all of this had been appointed by the president, so you can just dismiss all of them outright. So you have to file charges against them. And you need evidence to back your complaint. Sir, um, does the palace admit that it is a failure of the <clears throat> administration? I don't think so. <clears throat> because precisely we've been <clears throat> we've been fighting corruption and as we have seen, the president has been firing top government officials. And complaints against erring Government officials have been charged in the ombudsman and in the courts. Thank you, sir. Okay, questions? <coughs> Joyce? Sir, going back London to VFA. Sir, former um, Foreign Affairs Secretary, uh, Albert Del Rosario is urging President Duterte to accept the invitation of President Trump. And he said it is an excellent opportunity for the President to <clears throat> place on the table his full expectations to our bilateral relations. I suggest he stays retired. The President knows what he's doing. He doesn't need advice from those who have failed in their term as government officials especially from the one who lost the West Philippine Sea to the Chinese government. So the president doesn't see the need to, you know, um, tackle itong issues niya with some bilateral agreements with the U.S. sa ASEAN leader summit sa U.S. He doesn't see that as an opportunity to bring that up. These issues can always be brought up between countries that are affected by it. We do need a special summit for that. Thank you, sir. Okay, questions? No more questions. Thank you, MPC. Thank you, Secretary Panelo. Thank you. Okay. Henry, but wala kang tanong? <laughs> oh, magtatanong si Henry. Magtatanong ka, Henry? Sige, Henry. Sorry, yeah, magtatanong siya. Sek, <laughs> may pag-asa pa ba tayo makapunta ng Las Vegas, Nevada? <laughs> eh, sabi ni Presidente, hindi na siya pupunta eh. Pero so, ikaw, makakapunta ka sigurado doon. Hindi, pero... <laughs> hindi ka na makasama sa ano, uh, ibaban. Couple of days after na sabihin niya na hindi na siya pupunta, wala nang walang pagbabago. Ganun pa rin. Wala. When, when eh, sa tet-tet, di tatanungin ko bukas. Uh, pero when was the last time na nagkausap kayo ng Presidente? Alam mo kami, nung ano, sa Bacolod. Oo. Uh -oh. Yung sinabi niyan, tonight! <laughs> Kumusta pala siya? Uh, wala siyang... Wala siya. Ano schedule niya today, if, if we may ask? Today, hindi ko pa nakakita yung schedule. Meron na ba tayo schedule, Chris? Wala ako nakita. Mm -hmm. Bukas. Bukas, tet-tet lang daw ang schedule. So, sigurado lang tuloy yan. Oh. Eh, so, nasa Davao. <laughs> depende kay President. Nasa Davao po ba ang Pangulo ngayon? Nandito na sa... I think so. Baka pakapunta pa lang. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay, thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, MPC. Thank you, Secretary Panelo. Back from thank the studio you. sa Radio Pilipinas and People's Television Network. Sir, <laughs> <laughs>
presidente ang nagdidiktan. 